Today's video is a fairly quick and easy lesson. We are going to look at how to scan a denture, whether it be a full arch or partial, acrylic or framework denture, they will all be treated the same. Let's jump in right away. First what you want to do is open up your scanner software. We use 3Shape here at Image Dental, but it doesn't really matter what software you use because they are all fundamentally the same, with subtle differences. Once your program is opened up, usually the first piece of information required would be to enter the case information. Your software should be designed to be as user-friendly as possible and for the most part it's an easy guided process. On this screen, just follow the instructions and enter all the required fields. For 3Shape, we have the option to create a new patient profile entirely, or we can create a new case for an existing patient. However it may be, select the appropriate one and enter your patient information. Once completed, hit the next button to proceed. Remember now, your software might not have a next button, so hit the button that allows you to proceed to the next stage. With 3Shape, the next step allows you to select the location where you want to send your scanned files to. Don't worry if you see something else on your screen, other software allows you to deal with this step at a later stage. For 3Shape, here you can select Image Dental Laboratory and your files will be sent directly to us. Give us a call if Image Dental Laboratory is not listed on your software and we'll set you up in no time at all. On this screen, we are faced with a lot of options, but we just want to do a quick scan, so move on over to the tab on the left and select Scan Only. Now. We need to tell the software what we are scanning, so go ahead and select accordingly. We are now almost ready for scanning, but we may have to prepare the denture first before scanning. Remember now, a denture has a smooth, shiny, polished surface and the scanner may have a hard time reading or picking up the surface data. An easy workaround is to spray your denture with something to give it a matte finish. We use foot spray and found that it works well enough and it cleans off easy after the fact. Go ahead and spray a thin even layer all over the denture. It's okay to miss the area where you are holding the denture. Just remember to spray those areas at a later stage when doing a final pass. But for a quick tip, use an arterial clamp to minimize the footprint. When all surfaces are covered with a matte like finish, proceed to scan all surfaces. It's important to scan everything and not leave any unscanned areas. Unscanned areas means lost data or places with no data at all, and the lab cannot work with such areas. Make sure to scan the base, fitting surface with its opposing surface, buccal, lingual and occlusal surfaces of the teeth, and all peripheries and anatomical landmarks must be included, and where clasps are present, we need them to be scanned too. After scanning, review the rendered image on your screen and make sure all surfaces have been scanned. It's completely normal to do numerous passes as the scanner doesn't always pick up all the data on the first pass, especially on those areas where the denture was held or clamped. Those areas definitely need to be scanned to obtain the data. Now, do a final review and when satisfactory, finish up by hitting the send button. Other software may only now guide you through the steps to choose your laboratory, but with 3Shape we already covered this step. However it may be, follow your on-screen instructions and send us your files. If you ever need help with setting up your software or need help with any matter we have discussed in this video, please give us a call, we're here to help. That's it, thank you for choosing Image Dental Laboratory and we hope that you found this video helpful. We're waiting for your files.